Ybor City is a great place to live, work, and do business because almost everything's in walking distance. You have two handfuls, if not more, of restaurants you can go dine at for lunch or for dinner. Um, the liveliness in the streets. I love when I walk down 7th Avenue and I see a handful, a dozen people that I know. It almost makes me feel like I'm taken back to possibly the way it felt when my grandmother strolled the streets of Ybor in the 1930s and 40s. My father truly has a love for the history of Ybor City and for Tampa. Um, you know, bringing this feel of Casa Santo Stefano, the Sicilian's experience to Tampa, preserving the Columbia restaurant, celebrating our 116th year. He says he is simply a caretaker and he is taking wonderful care of it. Casa Santo Stefano was definitely a dream of my father's, Richard. He wanted to bring to life his memories of eating Sunday Sicilian meals with his best friend, Vincent Pallori. Sicily is one of the best, you know. It's so rich and the territory volcanic, the soil, so wines, everything is fantastic. There's been years and years of uh, work on it from uh, Richard uh, Gonsmar and family. He decided to name it Casa Santo Stefano after Santo Stefano in Sicily. The majority of the people that actually came to Ybor City at the turn of the century came from this small village. And it seemed like it was so natural since it was the original macaroni factory of Ybor City built in 1925. He's one of a kind, and the fact that Richard went to Sicily many times to source even all the artwork, and the fact it's in a um, Sicilian 1900 macaroni factory in Ibor City, it's uh, definitely, uh, they're all wow. Uh, we do import uh, dough from Sicily, the salt from Trapani, um, the extra virgin olive oil, some of the pasta, that, some of the dry pasta that we use in the house, it's 100% Sicilian grain. Uh, most of the ingredients, they have mixed olive, uh, most of our cheeses, so uh, it is truly Sicilian. We do use all our fish local, yes, from Florida. Um, we import some from the Mediterranean and everything else. We really try to bring it in from Sicily and Italy. It gives the next generation, current generations that are going to still to come, a taste of what old Tampa and old Ybor City tasted like. If you don't know where it came from, you need to learn. If we don't continue to restore the historic elements of Ybor City, then Ybor City is going to change. It's not going to be what we became known for, what we're famous for, what we love so much. Venite a mangiare a casa Santo Stefano. <laughs>